Meanwhile, he urged the governor to correct the imbalance in the political appointments and marginalization of the local government in the state executive council. Nigeria's financial technology fintech industry has experienced exponential growth in recent years as more people pivot from traditional banking systems to digital services. The sector, which has greatly improved the country's financial inclusion indices, has also generated a lot of interest from financial and market regulators who are now evaluating existing rules and enacting new ones to accommodate the growing opportunities and threats associated with the fintech sector. Speaking on the event, the CEO and organizer of the event, Jaime Ijaudola, disclosed that the event was designed to channel the interests of industry players within Nigeria's financial ecosystem with a keen focus on the fintech players as they are rev revolutionizing uh, payments and other fintech offerings across the continent. Take a listen. Largely, the event is, 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 is basically targeting at driving financial inclusion across Africa. We believe it is important for us to create platforms like this that provide an opportunity to foster partnership across banks, telcos, and of course fintech companies. So at the end of the day, we are looking at driving conversations that will define the future of Nigeria's fintech ecosystem and equally stimulate the drive for, for, for financial inclusion across Africa. There is need for us to strengthen, strengthen fraud, fraud um, prevention across the fintech ecosystem. I mean, it is very, very important to ensure that data of people are much more kept in a much more secure and, and, and safe manner. So, I mean, it forms part of the security architecture for fintech, which is part of the conversation at the event today. So we believe we are definitely going to drive this as much as we can. I think ultimately the way the world is going, in order to increase efficiency, to increase um, globalization for access to finance, it's important for us to make um, take advantage of these solutions that are available in the market. I think, of course, there's a need for vetting, and that's where regulation comes into place, where these um, new players have been vetted and they are accountable um, to a regulator, and that builds trust, and then consumers can understand that they're just as good as the traditional solution. Um, and for the fintech industry, it's absolutely critical that we solve that problem, make it possible for customers across the continent to trade with one another without all the friction that exists today, whether it's in terms of settlement, using foreign currency, or in terms of regulation, or in terms of just um, the freedom of flow for information and goods. Um, it's absolutely critical, and it's a focus for, I'm, I'm sure, not only InterSwitch, but a number of the partners who are here today. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel, and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.